In primetime news this evening, stepping aside, CMU Chairman Hyacinth Bennett resigns after damning Auditor General report. JLP leader Andrew Holness sends election signal. And new waters, dignitaries line Port Royal to welcome first cruise ship. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News, on air and online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Herman Green. And I'm Janella Precious. Also this evening, the top business stories of the day, Vashon Brown has our preview. Thanks, Janella. So as you know, the ban on styrofoam took effect on January 1. But why are businesses that provide alternatives to styrofoam calling for the government to revisit the duties placed on these items? I'll tell you more later on in the business day. All right, thank you, Vashan. From Vashan, we go to Jordan Fort, who has what's coming up in sports. Jordan? Well, Herman, there is a concern over an increase in the number of child abuse cases of student athletes in the office of the Children's Advocate. And on a lighter note, the West Indies under 19s are through to the quarterfinal of the World Cup in South Africa after a convincing win today. Going to have all those details in Primetime Sports Monday. There's also sports commentary, E-Prime, and weather in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. Our feedback question this evening. What are your thoughts on Port Royal becoming a cruise ship destination? You can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica, and tweet us at television jam. Please stay with us. Primetime News returns right after this break. 